Welcome back to the Mirantis OpenStack tutorial using the vCenter hypervisor. Previously we imported our Mirantis OpenStack vApp. In this video we're going to install Mirantis OpenStack onto our fuel and master node so that we can then begin creating our first OpenStack cluster. We're going to start by starting our fuel master node. Once the node is started, we can go ahead and attach our ISO. And let the machine reboot again. Here we see the fuel menu. And this is going to stop us right before we go into the installer. We're going to hit tab to edit our options here. Here we're going to change the show menu option from no to yes. This will allow us to see the menu after the installation of the operating system, but before fuel has finished configuring itself. Now the OS is going to install, and I'm going to pause the video and resume when the fuel menu is up for us to configure the machine further. Our installation is completed and we're now at the fuel configuration menu. Here we can see our ETHO network as well as our ETH1. ETHO ended up with the default configuration from those other kernel options that were in the bootloader menu. Here we can go ahead and configure ETH1 which has been configured to have our external interface on it. We're going to go ahead and enable the interface and set it to DHCP. We'll go ahead and apply it now. Even though we appeared to get an error message, it assigned THCP correctly. We can also change the settings for the Pixie address pool, DNS settings and host name for the fuel node, NDP settings, the root password, or even get a shell to use. We're going to save and quit the fuel menu. Fuel is additionally checking that the admin pixie network, in this case ETHO, does not have a DHCP server on it already, which would prevent fuel from being able to provision any of the machines that boot from it. Fuel is now going to finish all of its post OS installation tasks like configuring the docker images and running Puppet to apply the configuration. This will again take a while so we will pause the video and resume when it is complete. Our fuel node has now finished installing and we can go ahead and we can go ahead and identify what our IP address ended up at. And we can start up a web browser.
and we can see now that we have fuel running and now that fuel is running we can go ahead and start the remaining guests These guys are going to pixie boot from the fuel machine and they're going to auto start this bootstrap image here. And then bootstrap image is a small CentOS image that contains the tools necessary to inventory the hardware on the machine and report that back to the fuel master node. Once the process of initialization and self discovery is complete, they'll show up as an available node here in the UI. I'm going to again pause the video and wait for the nodes to finish booting, which usually takes a minute or two. Now that all the machines have finished discovering, we now see them as available nodes to provision 